What's up guys? Today I'm just going to show you a cheap, safe, easy way to detail your engine bay. The vehicle we're doing this on today is my GSR Integra. So what I use is this stuff. La, totally awesome. You can get it at like the Family Dollar, probably Dollar General and stuff. It's very cheap. I think Walmart even. This was literally a dollar. This filled up. And then I just been refilling it with the jug. Main reason I use this stuff is, one, it works really good, it's not corrosive, it's not going to eat away your paint or anything, and it, it just, like I said, works really well. And it's literally a dollar. I used this stuff over a year ago on the engine bay of my EF hatch, and it is dirty now because it's been sitting and I've been driving it, so I mean, well over a year now, but I wish I had a before and after picture of this engine bay because when I put this engine in, I literally had like a time crunch. I just threw it in after I yanked the old engine out. So there's this grease and just dirt everywhere from the years of being a stock Civic. But yeah, anyways, let's get into the video. So here is the engine bay of the GSR. There's just dirt everywhere. There's a lot of like old power steering fluid and stuff all over the place from when I got the car. It was just leaked all over. So I'm going to do this the best I can with what I got and I'm not gonna get too like crazy with it. I'm not gonna start removing everything. I'm just gonna do a quick little detail with that stuff. When I did that, I didn't even use brushes. I just used uh, uh, microfiber cloth and sprayed that and scrubbed it. But today I got some brushes to help out a little bit. So we'll see what we can do with brushes, microfiber and just a spray. Plus I'll probably hose it down after. I'm gonna pull the air box out really quick so it's easier to get down there. But I'm not gonna really mess around with taking anything else out. I'm just gonna see what I can get with just the brushes, like I said. But start from the top area and then work down. That way you're not putting, or the greasy, dirty stuff isn't dripping back down on what you already cleaned. When doing an engine bay like this, it's more open because I don't have power steering, I don't have uh, like ABS, none of that stuff. I literally did this whole engine bay, just spray and then wiped with a rag. I didn't have to use water. But being that this one is so like caked with oil and stuff and, and dirt, a lot of dirt and mud in here, um, I'm gonna try this technique with spraying like one corner at a time, spray it down, scrub it, and then hose it off. I'm gonna try this technique. I haven't tried it before, but we'll see how it comes out. And you definitely don't want to like directly spray water on your alternator. Usually you just cover it up with aluminum foil, but since I'm not going to drive the car today anyways, I'm just going to push it out after and let it dry when I'm done. Actually, I think I'm just going to go back to my original technique of spraying and wiping with a rag, well, in the brush, but it's a lot less messy and I think it's just simpler. So I don't even have to spray it with water after, so we're just going to do it that way. So it still comes out good, but I think the spraying it with the hose is kind of just an unnecessary step because just spraying and wiping will come out decent. So we'll try it on that side. So as you can see, that's all it took was just a quick spray and a wipe. So I'm going to just do one section at a time so I'm not making a huge mess with the spray everywhere and do it that way. I guess my original technique is way more simple and easier. And you can also just spray it on the rag like that, and then wipe. So 
So I still got to touch it up and not done, obviously, but very simple. Just spray and wipe, and it makes it so much better. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what it looked like before, and there's after. They really never did a good job from the factory painting the engine bays. All that down there is primer and just like under the seam sealer and the further down you go, basically the less red it is. So that I can't avoid. So just to give you an idea about the grease removal. Just like that. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut this video short because I honestly didn't look at the time before I started this and I had someone coming here to help me put a trailer plug in my Chevy. So I was definitely rushing and did not go in as much depth as I wanted to. But obviously when you do this stuff, the more effort you put into it, like brackets and stuff that you take off, the better it's going to look, and especially with how filthy this engine bay was. But I will show you the results that I have as of now. So there it is. Just spraying and wiping is all it takes. And no rinsing, no nothing. Just spray and wipe with a dry cloth. And it still gives you even this kind of shiny look to it. And I, I, I rushed all this, basically. So, yeah. Definitely recommend this for like a a water, waterless wash. Or if you're going to a car show or something, your engine bay is a little dirty, just quick spray that. You can even do it in the parking lot. And it comes out very good. I mean... You saw before and after, it speaks for itself with what little effort I put into it. I apologize for the rushed video this week. There's just a lot going on and whatnot. So anyways, I just wanted to get something out, you, out to you for this week and something helpful. I mean, it's literally a dollar to detail your engine bay. None of that over marked up product like, you know, big brands and stuff you know this, this is literally just a cleaner slash degreaser you can buy at the dollar store and it, amazing results so anyways if you like the video or if it helped you out i appreciate it like subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the projects and if you want merchandise hit me up on instagram conjo underscore brothers and as always thank you guys for watching and for the support and again i apologize for the lack of fun content lately i know i sound like a broken record if you've been following my videos, but everything is on hold right now until I get my Toyota pickup fixed because that's my main vehicle and we just, the more we tear into it, the more is wrong with it and I want to fix it properly. So when I sell it, it's the next person doesn't get screwed like I did and I just, I need a bigger truck. So yeah, everything's on hold spending wise until that situation is situated. And then from there, hopefully be able to do a little more fun stuff. I want to get coilovers for the Integra and do a review on that and a few other things. And obviously the EF hatch have a lot I still need and want to do to that car, but everything's on hold right now. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me, the ones that do follow the channel and follow it, not only just for seeing the cars, but for the channel itself. So thank you guys.